Hey there, my fourth grade artists. Um, we're going to be making a new project this week. Um, it's going to take us about uh, three to four weeks to get through it. Um, so you guys, uh, my online learners, you guys have three to four weeks to complete this project and turn it into me. Um, you can email it to me or you can um, drop it in the Schoology folder I will create. So um, we're going to be making some... Uh, Rodeo art. Uh, the rodeo is a big contest uh, Spring participates in every year. We, um, I submit 10 pieces from the school to the district and they have the rodeo come out and then they, um, they judge the artwork and they bring some of it downtown to the um, show. So you have an opportunity for lots and lots of people to see your artwork. And um, they have prizes uh, for uh, contest winners as well. So I need you guys to try your hardest so you guys have a, an opportunity at those prizes and you have an opportunity to, to go downtown to the Houston Radio. Um, so uh, the project I have for fourth grade, we're, we're learning about... Um, uh, we're learning about pattern. And we're going to be making some pop, um, some pop art referenced um, cowboy hats. Um, so here's an example of something that we're kind of doing. All right, you see the bright colors? That's the pop culture, um, the pop um, artwork reference. And the cowboy hat with the flowers. Um, we're going to actually reverse the colors so that you could see it a little better. Um, but uh, so what you're going to need. Okay, so what you're going to need for this project is um, a white piece of paper. Um, this is optional. Painter's tape. You don't have to use painter's tape. It's optional. Um, blue, yellow, and red paint. A thick paintbrush, a rounded paintbrush, and a skinny uh, paintbrush, okay? And a pencil. That's all you're going to need. Um, we're going to start by drawing our cowboy hat. Uh, let's see. I want your paper in front of you like this. Um, and we're going to start with an infinity sign. Okay, so we're going to um, start our projects. So what you're going to need is the um, yellow, red, and blue paint, um, a flat paintbrush, a rounded kind of medium-sized paintbrush, and then a skinny uh, rounded paintbrush, um, and then also a pencil. And you can also use some painter's tape if, you, if you'd like. It's not necessary, though. Um, so let's... So let's get started with the drawing. I want you guys to take out your pencils. Um, and we're going to start with the bill of the hat. The bill of the hat is going to be an infinity sign. So uh, we're going to make it nice and large on our paper. We want it to take up a big portion of our paper. We want our hat to take up a big spot of our paper, okay? So an infinity sign also looks kind of like an S um, or a number eight. If we continued this line, it'd make a number eight. Okay, then we're gonna do a straight line going up. Um, it doesn't have to be a big line. Um, and then you can round out that part right there. All right, and then we're gonna do a curved line, just a slight curve like this. And then you're gonna um, do a, a straight line going across until you get about halfway, maybe before, a little bit before halfway um, at this bill part. Then you're gonna um, bring that line down, okay? And you want to keep these edges kind of rounded. Then we're going to make the ribbon on the hat. And it's going to go across like that. 
and then another one going across just like this very simple easy to do uh, there's our cowboy hat oh and we need to put a little line there because there's always a groove in those cowboy hats okay all right so in in the ribbon part I want you guys to put a pattern in there you can do any type of pattern you would like I'm gonna do this little triangle pattern or zigzag pattern and then I'm gonna put little um, dashes going across here just to add some more interest to my work here we go and then I'm gonna put some dots in here you guys can do any type of pattern you would like inside of that uh, ribbon Alright, so let's go ahead and let's get started with our flowers. Um, let's start with a daisy. I'm going to put my daisy right here. I'm going to start with a circle and then I'm going to do like a bunch of teardrops for those petals. Or ovals. Teardrops or ovals. Any of those would work. There's my nice daisy. Then we're going to do a rose. Some of you guys might be scared hearing that. A rose is pretty easy to do. It's an implied rose. You just put a wonky looking circle, a goofy looking circle right here. And then you're going to bring a line around about halfway around that circle like this. Another weird looking line. Then you do the same thing like so, like that. And you just keep doing this until you're satisfied with the way it looks. Uh, make it rounded so that's a nice looking rose for me I think I'm happy with it I'm gonna make a little stem coming off right there I'm gonna give my daisy a stem coming out right here okay now we're gonna put some wheat in here so I want you guys to do a nice big line mine's going back behind my rose so I'm, I'm drawing I'm cutting the line and then you're gonna put a teardrop at the top here or an oval and then you're just gonna do a bunch of those going down that stem this is making some wheat or it could be lavender lavender is a Texas or I don't know if it's Texas lavender is a wildflower all right then we're gonna do a, a stem of berries and you're just gonna um, bring out a line and then do a bunch of random lines like this and then at the point of each of those lines you're going to do a circle just like that so there's our first set of flowers um we're gonna repeat what we did on this side over here you guys can do as many roses and daisies and whatever else you'd like right here Okay, once you guys have something like this, uh, where you got flowers on both sides of your cowboy hat and it's taking up a good portion of your paper, we're going to uh, tape off. Um, you can tape it on your table. You can tape it on um, a piece of cardboard. Uh, you can tape it on uh, a, an artboard if you have one of those. And we're going to use our painter's tape and we're going to create a border um, using our tape. Uh, we're gonna tape it down to our table so let me do that real quick okay so like uh, what this tape is gonna do is uh, once we peel it off of the table after the paints all dry um, it's going to create this nice crisp um, white border for our artwork and this is a really professional way to create art um, if you're painting or um, doing anything really you should always tape it down with some painters tape um, we use painter's tape because it doesn't tear the paper up. But if you um, uh, tape it down so on something with some painter's tape, um, it'll create this really nice crisp white border um, beyond our painting. And it'll make it easier to frame as well. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to completely coat this paper with yellow paint. So go over your drawing, go over all of this paper completely with one layer of yellow paint. Okay, once you have completely coated um, your paper with this uh, yellow paint, you should still be able to see your drawing through it, which is uh, good. That's what we want. Um, 
once it's dried and um, you're ready for the next step, step you're going to take out your red paint and your medium paintbrush and you're going to put a pattern on your um, yellow uh, paper. Um, make it a simple pattern. We don't Make it a simple pattern because we don't want it to be too crazy because we're going to be going over um, the, these lines here with some blue paint. We don't want this uh, drawing to get lost in that, uh, that pattern that you're doing. I'm just going to do some polka dots. Make it real simple. So um, once your project has dried with your pattern on top, with your red uh, pattern on top of your yellow, um, you should still be able to see your, your cowboy hat in there. Um, we're going to take our blue paint now and our, our skinny paintbrush, our small paintbrush, and we're going to outline all of um, our pencil lines. So we're going to trace over all of our pencil lines. Um, you're going to trace over it as if those dots, those red dots aren't there. You're just going to trace over all of it, okay? We're going to layer it on top of that pattern doing it this way, okay? Okay, so this should be your final product. Whenever you peel all the tape back, you'll see that border that I was talking about, that clean, crisp, white border. Um, and this is it. This is our pop art cowboy hat with flowers. Um, until next time, you guys. Bye.